final seconds at the race course. This is the moment thousands of Wrexham fans realised their team had won entry to League Two of the EFL. Champions! You've just seen tens of thousands of dreams come true. Watching the jubilation were the two men who've had the greatest impact on the club, Rob McElhinney and Ryan Reynolds. Filmed by Ant-Man, the club co-owners hugged, visibly emotional. It's running through my head over and over again as people said at the beginning, why Wrexham, why Wrexham? This exactly why Wrexham. Two years ago, Wrexham was languishing in the National League. It's the fifth tier of English football and there's one league below it. The, they're just above the people that have to still have a full-time job in order to survive. In came Rob McElhinney of It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia fame. He wanted to buy Wrexham, but there was one problem. So I've got TV money. Sure. Um, I needed uh, movie star money. I needed super superhero money. <sighs> Reynolds threw in and they snapped up the club for a reported four million New Zealand dollars. And they immediately made a TV show. <laughs> more than a game to the people of this town. It's not life and death, it's more important than that. This is a fun game. <laughs> Suddenly the spotlight was on the team and the town. Sponsors came running, their season pass sales tripled in just three years, and new fans appeared. The Wrexham Football Club is the town, the town is the football club. Like, that's what they have going on, that's what they live for every week, and I love that. Most importantly, the team started winning games. And now, it's taken them to the English Football League. Come on! Are you, are you wearing an undershirt? Yeah. <laughs> Up the towel. Who knows where the dream and the global marketing strategy will take them next. This is so cool. Because um, uh, as a watcher of Welcome to Wrexham, it's such a great... Is, I recommend the show, watch it, just not between 7 and 7.30, but, <laughs> um, yeah, real great show. And this is big for them because this promotion means that they get more money, the matches are televised, so they sort of it all snowballs and gets better and better for the club and, yeah. and the town, which is quite amazing. But um, it has cost them, I mean, four mil for the club, but then $6 million per year they've been losing. <laughs> Only for a couple of years, but, yeah, so yeah. this is huge. Oh um, you're a retired elite sports person, as you describe yourself. Um, <laughs> have you ever thought about Thanks taking on a little cricket team and taking them all the way? Well, a little cricket team. Yeah. I'd go straight for an Indian Cricket League one, I think. Okay. Yeah, the problem with being a, an owner of a sports team is you're not actually, you own it, you're not meant to butt in. Right. And I would have, <laughs> have, have my say. Yeah. I mean, many sports teams have been ruined by owners like me. <laughs> <laughs> I love it that in this hypothetical fantasy situation, yeah. you talk yourself up and down. Yeah. <laughs>